something to do on your phone that you ne never really think about doing. I saw it on the big jumbo tron. Everybody's actually do interacting with it. It's like one big game. You get to win cool stuff. That was pretty fun and cool. That was pretty cool. The concept behind the Sports Bites program is to bring science, technology, engineering, and math to kids at different venues. So we felt that engaging them in an environment such as a sports stadium, soccer, and or baseball, the kids have the opportunity to learn a little bit about science and understanding that velocity, gravity, thrust, friction, all those components have to do with the baseball stadium and maybe that will engage them to want to become more involved in science. What the individual teams do is they run a nightly promotion at their games um, where for the baseball teams they have a crazy wild-haired professor come out on the dugout and they encourage the fans to take out their cell phone and uh, text the answer to the Sports Bites question of the night. Alright fans, take out those cell phones. It's time for the Sports Bite Challenge. I need everybody to get out your cell phones right now. See my cell phone? Take it out. Right now, I'm going to ask you a question. We're going to give you two answers, and we're going to ask you to text your answer. Question is, when thrown with equal force, what will travel slower, a softball or a baseball? Which ball has more drag when thrown? If you think it's a smooth ball, you want to text SPORT A to 83960. If you think it's a rough ball, you want to text SPORT B. A little bit different format with soccer. We have the PA announcer announce it to the crowd here. Attention DC United fans, what can stop a soccer ball, gravity or friction? I think what really excites me is the opportunity for revolutionary change. We have a vision of anytime, anywhere, learning, or wherever you are, if you're interested in something, you can learn about it. It's really to get them to think about it in ways that they may have not thought about math and science or sports before. Get them interested in it, and then take that back to the classroom. The combination of sports as a hook, the cell phones as the delivery medium, and math and science education as a content. Those three things came together in Sports Bite. Sometimes you could be doing math and when you least expect it. I didn't expect to think about science at a DC United game. It was kind of more fun because you, you're in a baseball field and you get a lot more fun than just sitting in class learning about it. The primary mission of the Coffin Foundation is to advance entrepreneurship, the ability of individuals to create businesses and economic prosperity for themselves and their community. The foundation has a second thrust, which is an education, specifically math and science education, because we would like to give people the tools they need to eventually become entrepreneurs. That's why we're looking at things that are beyond the realm of traditional education intervention, because we want to bring those tools to a large number of people and eventually allow them to be successful entrepreneurs and pursue their life dreams. Statistically, over the last 10 years, less and less kids have gone into the areas that are most critical for the future of United States competitiveness. The idea behind the game was to help inspire kids ages from 13 to probably about 18, 19 to engage and get involved in science and technology and engineering and hopefully then go into college and study science, engineering, technology and math. It was not only about sports, it was like about math and science and really how much you know. Well, you try for it, but you have to use your brain with it. The other promotions, they're okay, but this one, you get the actual text on your phone and you get the interact. And you get Everybody's involved if they want to be. The question is, what can stop a soccer ball, gravity or friction? So we designed it having teaser questions, getting the user to think about something, showing them a question on the mobile device, and then after they respond, friction or gravity, then they're giving the answer, but also an explanation. So the instruction is really embedded into the explanation of the answer. They also receive a hot link so they can go and answer other questions that relate to science and technology. We had someone win tonight, and he was a senior in high school, and he just he was very excited. What just happened? Well, there was a question up on the, uh, on the Jumbotron, and I texted him the answer, and I just got a call, and it said I won, so I'm down here. Uh, getting my prize. I am never going to forget this lesson I just learned because I mean this is an effective way to do it. When you correlate science and sports it's something that will get kids interested in science because 
you know, if you say what stops a, a object in motion, no one really cares about that. But if you say what stops a soccer ball, it makes it more real and the kids can relate to that. So I think that's why they did it that way because, I mean, I learned something tonight. There's 175 minor league baseball stadiums in the East Coast alone. And we said, let's do 10 stadiums, see if we can get 100,000 users out of the 10 stadiums, and then go from there. We can show that hundreds of thousands to millions of kids will engage via mobile phones, for example. Then we have a chance to go around to all the other foundations, to the government agencies, to anyone who's interested in education, say, look, try this. And I think we'll have an impact that even exceeds the impact of the program itself. We're getting kids in middle school and high school who are, in the past, have only used the devices for social purposes. They're finally using them for academics and to um, you know, further their STEM learning. It's really, really good to see. It's a lot different out here than it is in school. You get like a little sport trivia along with math or science. It's definitely making people think a lot more. I mean, rather than just being out at a ball game enjoying the ball game, they're, uh, they're actually learning about how fast a uh, ball comes off the bat or which ball travels faster. A lot of times kids will learn things in the classroom that are science related but they can't relate it to something that they do every day. Maybe playing baseball or basketball or softball or whatever. So I think that it helps them make that extra connection outside the classroom that might help them pay attention a little bit more while they're in the classroom to see a real life application.